Okay, going back again. <clears throat> All right, so I realized something. Uh, I usually don't. Well, that is. Uh, this is not the Lenovo i5. This is the Dell HP. I mean Dell HP DL. That's why I always say Dell. I figured it out. Uh, HP DL 380G7 server. And the only sound card I have for it, well, I actually have two. Uh, the video, 8 gigabyte video card has audio. Well, it, it's a complicated thing to explain, but I have audio going out of it through the HDMI. It actually does have a return audio, but it's for special kinds of equipment that handle it through HDMI. Um, but so I have a USB sound card plugged into, you know, a USB port on the front of the machine there and it's more sensitive than the uh, it's really a mic input so it's a lot more sensitive than a line input uh, it distorts easy so really my setup to this all this equipment I might be able to leave it the same and then just go down on the uh, so I'm this is where it was last time and it's it's still I have to turn it up all the way to hear what I'm saying so I think my setup I'm going all the way up I'm still on the SM58. Everything is where it was. Seems like I started hearing a little buzz. <coughs> I don't see why that <coughs> do that. Oh, yeah, see how hot it is? <clears throat> I was way away from the mic. But check one, two. Check. Yeah, I can see it's too hot. So if I go back some on here, check one, two, check, check. Probably not even, that might be just about it right there. I think that's it. <clears throat> Hello, check, check. Hey, Don here. Let's leave it, well, let's go out here. No, leave it there. And let's try the other mic. Um, okay, we'll go down on the SM58. up on the uh, lapel through the Bluetooth. The buzzing went away, so it must have been because I was running the Wi-Fi. IP web came out running, you know, Wi-Fi, a lot of Wi-Fi going back and forth for that. At the same time, as the Bluetooth. That's the only thing I can figure. Okay. Okay, now that's in the same place I, I like to, that I figure out works best, generally. Check one, two. Hey, check one, two. See, I got a compressor to, to you know, to help with all this. So, uh, now let me, uh, yeah, actually listen back to it. And uh, I wish it would stay where I left it. I'm so sick and tired of having it. I can't see which, which one I'm on unless I do that. Uh, I guess that takes it out of the picture. Let's put it down here, make sure it's in the picture. Okay, so we're going to turn on our monitor. Turn on our monitor. Turn on our monitor. Let's turn the output down. Check one, two. Check one, two. Low check. Low check. Low check. Low. Yeah, I can hear the compressor. Yeah, I can hear the compressor. Yeah, I can hear the compressor. Hear the compressor kicking in and out. Check one two. Check one two. I'm turning down the main. I'm turning seat. down the main. I'm turning down the main. Check one two. Check one two. Check one. That's a little better, I think. That might be. Better, I think. That might be. That might be. Just. I just remembered. I just remembered. I just remembered. Okay. Check one two. I just remembered. I'll turn off that there. Okay, everything off. Yeah, I just remembered why I uh, one of the re one of the benefits though of when I turned that down I hadn't is uh, you know I let, I I've have been using it on those same settings for years I really haven't uh, I and when I originally set it all up I didn't hear I didn't really have much problem with the hearing the compressor kicking it out and getting that little whoosh noise you know. But I was hearing it on and off last, well, this whole last year, I guess, I don't know. 
Um, and I, and I never felt like spending this much time, you know, resetting things up. But uh, um, most any kind of audio device, if you turn it up all the way, you're liable to get some noise. You, you know, you kind of don't want to turn any. But, well, especially pot, like real pots, uh, you know, um, the hardware parts. Uh, you usually want to keep them at most about three quarters of the way up, you know. And I, but this one, I it, it needed it uh, to get the vo get the gain structure, the volume that I needed. So, but it was I didn't think it was make, it wasn't making noise in, in the beginning. But this is several years ago when I, so you know it's it's older. <laughs> anyway, there's noise now. Uh, uh, noticeable noise and uh, um, and the only way you can tell what you're getting you, you always need you know you can listen off the mixer you will hear the, the signal without because I'm going I'm daisy chaining it to the computer mixer VM computer so you need to not you can't just you, you can't listen to the headphones here or here to really hear what the computer hears. You've got to hear the output of the computer. And that's really drives me nuts uh, with the echo and all that. I can put on headphones, but that's not really the same sound. You're not going to, you're going to, you'll hear some things you don't hear through the speakers, but you'll also m not get the same exact, you know, uh, reproduction of what uh, you would get be getting uh, it's really closer to what you're going to get in the recording and what you're going to hear when you play it back if you do it like this. Uh, but uh, it, you can't get away. You can't stop the echo though. Uh, if I turn it up enough where I can hear it, then I get too much echo. Now it's too low. I can't really tell what's going on. I well, let me see. I can go this way, but then you won't hear it in the recording. It doesn't uh, doesn't echo as much, but it still echoes. So it sounds like a huge room, you know. It sounds like it actually. If you were having a concert, you might want to use that. You know, if you wanted to emulate the sound of having a concert, you might want to do that. Check. It's still just touching up there. Check. Um, I think I better play this one back before I say that it's, you know, what it, it's good or bad. <clears throat> um, I was checking to make sure where I was on the mixer. Um, yeah, let me stop this one and play it back. 